You have to wonder, what's the holdup, Masa? Great question, Stacy. 11 days ago, we asked the governor about school infection data, and he said that he supports releasing everything. Tonight, we are staying on this for students, teachers, and parents. Do we want to do e-learning? Do we want to do brick and mortar? Do we Before the do first we bell rang, Jessica Patterson decided to pull her kids out of public school. The mom turned teacher is now homeschooling. There was just so few details of information on what school was going to look like. Patterson wanted clarity, consistency, and completely candid communication. I definitely have huge um, concerns about transparency. It's been a fight from the beginning um, to be able to get that information. Last month, the state removed a report that revealed coronavirus cases in schools. They said it was a mistakenly posted draft. Governor, will you release information about the number of students and staff with COVID at specific schools? Governor Ron DeSantis said he supported the release of all data, and he directed us to the Florida Department of Health and Surgeon General Dr. Scott Rifkees. When is the report coming? You have to ask him. Tonight, there is still no master list of COVID cases from the state. And a state man, DOH, says they're releasing confidential information to designated individuals. As for the still missing report, they say they're, quote, still working to determine the structure and release of the report. What would it take for you to feel safe putting your children back in school? Oh, um, well, Florida numbers are just too high for me. And individual districts are now releasing data in different ways, but we're going to stay on this until we get that master list from the state. Public health experts believe that's the only way we'll know the true virus impact on schools. Live in the Tampa News Center, Masa Saidi, 8 on your side.